Hello, Pro Indians. So, welcome back. So, till now, we have seen how uh, we can do a control flow of our statements. We have seen various uh, uh, flow control statements like if, elif, uh, else, nested if, right, and for loops, while loops, right. And then we add, ended up the session with those three topics like break, continue, and past statements, right. Now, we are, let's delve into the next topic that is about error handling right so we have not yet discussed that but we have seen some sort of uh, uh, things in our previous session so now is the time since we have done with our control flow right so now is the time that we should actually delve into error handling so, okay so we are going to talk about two types of error error handling that is uh, syntax errors and uh, exceptions errors right so let's uh, jump in the class and see uh, both of them thank you Welcome back to ITNs. So let's continue with our discussion on handling errors, right? Okay, so there are two types of errors uh, in the programming world, uh, and Python is also uh, in Python also it is the same. Those two types of errors are called as syntax errors, or they can also be referred as parsing errors, and the second type of error is uh, exception or logical errors all right so so syntax errors are generated if the if the uh, rules for coding or um, if the coding syntax is not in um, in the proper way right now we have we have seen like uh, in python the uh, we have a particular rule uh, for the syntax right i mean for example whenever there is an um, uh, if statement then or any loop statement then it has to be the body of the statement of the if loop or any of the loops right it will be indented okay that's how you differentiate between the body of, uh, of a particular loop right be it a, a normal loop or be it a nested loop uh, let's have a look on this example and see what are the things that are missing in this one yeah all right if if we say like uh, for example okay let me give you an example a very short example here or um, let me open up an idle right so okay now I'm, i'll maximize the screen all right for example a is equal to 2 b equals 3 now if a greater than B see immediately you get a syntax error correct because after this I should be putting the colon sign here isn't it for example I mean the one it should be coming out here as A greater than B and colon and then if you hit enter then it, it doesn't show up the indentation or doesn't show up the uh, syntax error right that's how it should be I mean so since that particular rule of syntax was missing that's why we got this syntax error right so that was the example of that right now now you know I mean uh, I, that what what could be the causes of syntax error right and let's go back to our example I'll close this out all right let's begin uh, and check this code out here do you see anything uh, wrong with this code yeah so let's see I mean we can uh, control s on this one and run f5 now immediately we got an invalid syntax why right because as you can see uh, if we read this code l equal int and then the bracket uh, input and then input number right do you see that uh, the closing braces are missing so that was the thing right and similarly down in this statement even there right right now uh, 
now let's move to the next one do you see anything wrong out here right let's check it out yeah I'll click on save and immediately I got another invalid syntax I click on OK and now it is saying that equal to right now as we know this equal to is an assignment operator right but uh, in this scenario when if is involved right we should be putting the logical operator so it is going to be uh, with this one right now we have two equal equal to sign so uh, we should be good out here and we have the colon so and that's great we have the indentation that is also great elif um, and the other parts right um, so are we good to run this code or are there any other connections corrections required uh, let's look at this so else and then colon now now if we look at this statement I don't find any indentation right so I think we need to provide the indentation out there right so and now it looks good so let me save this and let me run f5 okay great so I I type in the lower number uh, 2 and I type in the um, upper number 5 and then uh, it says u is greater so it was a very small code just to show you that how uh, syntax error works and um, how you would have also noticed that uh, with the syntax error you were not able to execute the code correct uh, so that's that's how because because interpreter was not able to understand uh, what needs to be done the next level right so for example when when we were here when it was an assignment operator interpreter was not able to understand and that's why the execution of the code was stopping at this point right we were not able to complete the execution of this code right yeah uh, now let's talk about exceptions so exceptions is a is in the another type of um, the errors that we might uh, see in uh, the Python program language, right? So we saw about um, uh, the syntax errors. Now, um, exceptions errors are a bit different. So in exceptions error, there will not be about um, any issues in execution of the code. Yeah, uh, it will arise after the execution of the code. So execution. Ex exception is an event and it actually di disrupts the uh, normal flow of program instruction so exception handling is a way to acknowledge an error situation so that python code can accept or python code can cope with that situation okay so uh, as you know i mean when we when, when we saw about the uh, syntax errors uh, we saw that if we were not able to execute the code or we were not able to go to the next line right but in when when we uh, we'll come up with the example for um, for the exceptions uh, handling of of this errors um, but we will see that if if i hit f5 on this one okay you will be able to run the code all right but you will not be able to i mean um, run the program so let's have a look at it uh, i'll run the same code and i'll create a scenario where you will get an issue on that right okay so i give a space i hit just i i'll just hit enter yeah so you got a value error yeah invalid literal for int with base right because the code which we had run it was coded in a way that it will accept only integers right it was not coded to accept space right so uh, so in that case what happened is when we when we gave it as a space it actually gave a value error now how can I 
how can actually uh, come out of it okay so let's look at this um, so uh, we have this code right and now we'll have to uh, make sure that we are making some changes in the program so that it will understand when it hits the value adder what actions it has to perform all right so for that we'll have to make a small change here we'll have to put try and then int okay and then int all right and then except value error colon and then we'll have to give the action that needs to be performed when whenever the uh, program heads to the value error right so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give the output to the user as uh, program will only accept integers all right and then if that is the case we need to um, exit out of it right we we can't if we don't uh, exit out of the code it will still uh, be in the running state right so as soon as it hit the value error correct and then uh, the code should automatically exit out of it right so for that we have this uh, function right exit dot sys sorry sys dot exit and then since we um, using the sys right uh, as we have seen in the earlier sessions uh, we'll have to import uh, that sys module import sys isn't it we also need to make a change out here as l equals to int and u equals to int right okay so we also need to make a small change here that is uh, um, so that it accepts any value I mean be it a string or a number right um, so L it will input um, a number uh, but if the user decides to give anything apart from an integer value it will still accept right same is the case with you but later on in this part of the code we are going to change it uh, with l as int and u also as int and then we are going to give as accept value error um, where actually we are going to create an exception for value error uh, and then it is going to print the program um, print the line that program will accept only integers right and then it is going to exit right okay so let's uh, click on control s and f5 okay so as you can see if I hit enter for input number and um, I've done the uh, hit I've given the blank and entered for both the numbers and I got program will only accept integers right all right so we have seen now um, that how we can actually handle the value errors and how we can create the exception for value errors right and uh, as you can also see that this time we have not received any errors like value error which we were receiving earlier okay great so that's all for now guys um, right um, we have covered quite a bit uh, today and uh, we'll cover uh, some more examples on the uh, on the topic of handling errors uh, until then have a great time and keep watching and keep learning thank you